Hi, in this presentation, I'm going to do a quick review of 10 features of the Raven Black Application Analyzer that can provide huge value to any content suite users who have to support, fix, or extend functionality created with content intelligence, or web reports as it's also known. To set some context before we start, many content server administrators may not fully realize the extent to which web reports technology might be affecting their system. As you'll see, this is one of the things the application analyzer will address. And this slide lists several of the ways customers have used this technology on their system. I've broken this video down into three different areas. The first area is system awareness, and I'm going to show you a series of features that identify all the web report based objects on the system in the context of how they affect that system. Number one, identifying all system event triggers. There are two aspects that help with this. One, no triggered web reports, shows you all of the web reports that are triggered by events on objects in Content Server, along with all the details. There's also a user group triggering, which shows all the web reports that are triggered by user events. Number two, identifying perspectives and active views. There is an aspect for perspectives, which shows all of the perspectives along with the web reports that are used as widgets. And there's an aspect for active views, which shows all of the active views and all of the objects that are overridden by those active views. Number three, identifying scheduled web reports. This aspect has two options when you select it, which allows you to choose if you just want to see active schedules. You can see all of the scheduled web reports along with details for each schedule. Number four, identifying workflows with web reports. This aspect will show all of the workflows on the system along with any web reports that are being used as steps. For each workflow, you can see all of the instances that are running for that workflow. Number five, general search. There are a few searches that act as aspects. One allows you to search across the system for terms, whether they're in the metadata or the content, and you can specify particular objects or just search on the objects, effectively creating a custom aspect. Second useful one does much the same thing, but allows you to constrain a particular search according to particular applications. Now we're going to look at a set of features that allow you to identify and solve issues from specific objects on the system, rather than looking at slices of the overall system. We start with number six, tracking triggers on objects. If you have an object on content server and you were trying to work out if there were any triggers on it, causing issues or adding to the performance, Opening the analyzer shows that we do in fact, for this object, have a triggered web report that occurs on these events. You could then mount this and examine it. Number seven, tracking overrides on objects. First, we'll look at an active view example on Classic. We see that there's an extra menu here, and perhaps to investigate, we might open the application analyzer. And then we note that there's a section here called overrides, and an active view that's associated with this folder that is creating a favorites menu. To look at the perspectives example, if we have a smart view that looks like this, and it's associated with a particular business workspace, we can open the business workspace with the analyzer, and we can see from here that it's associated with this perspective. And now we can go to that perspective, edit it if we need to, or look at the web reports that are underlying it. Additionally, I should note that we can see all of the workspaces it works on, including the one we just came from. Number eight, tracing web report dependence and dependencies. Looking at our previous example, if we have a web report and we want to know if there are other web reports associated with it, we can mount it and it crawls that web report and builds the entire dependency tree. We can also, if we have a child object, find out what other web reports are dependent on it using this feature here. Number nine, following linked objects. As we select objects in the analyzer, often we'll have other objects that are linked to them, which we can then mount. We can follow this form, for example, along to its template. And for this template, we could look up a web reports view. 
and we can then step back from there quite easily and simply. And finally, under application acceptance, we have reviewing an application. And this refers to a group of features designed to operate on a batch of web reports, collectively called an application. It provides all kinds of unique information about the application, including subtags, specialized audit report, which provides any errors in the application, and the ability to collate any notes or descriptions for the application into documentation. Finally, it includes a option that mounts all of the different software branches so that you can see all of the different software relationships. That concludes this short presentation. Please check out the links below this video, including a longer version of this video with more detailed analysis of those features. Thank you.